how to attract five to 10 new fans per day messaging you wanting to hear your music and how to turn those fans into paying customers. So if you're a recording artist and you've tried to go viral on social media, grow on Spotify, play a ton of live shows for the exact same crowd of your friends and family, and you still don't see how you're going to grow, then this video is going to be for you. So I've been doing music for about 14 years. I've gone through all the same struggles as you, and I finally developed a method that's pretty unique. I haven't really seen any other artists do this. I don't really know why, but it works and it works really well. And it's something that I had to step outside of the music industry to go figure out when it comes to marketing and digital marketing and growing a fan base. It's seems like it would make sense to go on YouTube like you are now and go type in music marketing or go find all these music marketing tips. And what do you usually get? How to grow, how to release content, song release strategies, growing on Spotify, all, all, all this stuff. And, and none of it really works because you're not really attacking the main problem, which is how do you make money with your music? And none of those things do that. And so I'm going to explain in this video basically why those things don't work. And I'm going to show you what I call the music social funnel. So let's dive into it. Uh, I've got a couple of diagrams. We're going to just start with this one as kind of the 30,000 foot view, and then we're going to zoom in. But essentially there's really four, four steps to this. Starting over here at the top, there's potential fans. What we want to do is we want to attract fans coming inbound. We want to then be able to nurture the relationship with those fans to be able to convert them into paying customers and then send them and make them loyal fans. So let's actually dive a little bit deeper into this. So here at the top, everyone just means everybody in the world, right? So these are all our potential fans. And the first step of this is we want to attract them. And it's, it's, it's very simple, right? What I personally do is I run a really simple paid ad that attracts loyal fans to message you on autopilot. Simple as that. So instead of needing to post tons of content and trying to get hella streams on Spotify, I just run a simple paid ad. I, I prefer Instagram ads. Uh, I've used Facebook as well, but Facebook and or Instagram ads to get people to send you a message. They're called DM ads. You can run DM ads on Facebook or Instagram. I've done both and they both work really well. And so what we're doing here is called the top of the funnel, which is attracting those fans. And the really big issue that I've noticed with the music industry at large is pretty much all the music marketing gurus out there only focus on the top of the funnel. This is where most people like yourself and like I used to be are asking questions. And so here's the real truth. When you're on, when you're trying to grow big on YouTube, like I am right now with my channel or like other people are, the truth is what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to answer questions people ask. And that actually right there is the problem is that all the music, what you're doing is you're just going to watch other people's videos that are just answering your questions. And most people's questions are the wrong questions. So I don't, I don't like to look at it like that. I don't want to just answer your question because you might be asking the wrong question. No, no offense to you. You might be asking the wrong question. The right questions, the wrong question to ask is how do I grow on Spotify? How do I grow a fan base? How do I, how do I, um, get more listeners? How do I, how do I, um, how do I get more followers? These aren't the most important questions. The most important question is how do I get fans to pay me? How do I attract fans, nurture the relationship with those fans and convert those fans? But see those kinds of terms, no one uses that. And so that's why the reason you haven't made it is because you're really asking the wrong questions and everything else out there is just worrying about this part, which is top of funnel. And by the way, even then people aren't talking, people aren't just talking about paid ads. Right, a lot of people are talking about how do you post a bunch of content? How do you go viral? All these little Instagram ticks, uh, 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 hacks and tricks to to try to game the algorithm. But the truth is, like, you just can run a really simple paid ad to attract fans and get them to DM you. And then after that, we move into the middle of funnel, which is nurturing the relationship with those fans. Really, we're using at this point just two things: content to stay top of mind, and conversations in the DMs with those fans. That's how we nurture the relationship one on one. So imagine if you want to attract fans, why would you go send them off to Spotify? Let's say you send them off to Spotify. They listen to your song. They add it to their playlist. Then what? Can you keep track of those fans? Can you talk to those fans? Do you have their email address? Can you DM them? No. The only way to nurture those fans is just to keep releasing music. And even then, what if they don't see your music? Whereas here, if you run a simple paid ad on Instagram to, for someone to DM you, and then they DM you, you're now DMing back and forth one-on-one -on -one with them and you can nurture that relationship with them. It makes total sense at that point to be like, hey man, is it cool if I send you my song? I just dropped it. 
and they say yes, now you're actually getting permission. And you can talk to them over and over. And at the same time, as you post things on Instagram, you have that content to stay top of mind. That's where you're nurturing them. Now, what's really cool is moving into step three, which is converting those fans into paying customers. And what's great is in the DMs, you can actually do this. And I've done this. I've done this in the DMs where I've actually sold CDs, albums in the DMs with people. And they've purchased my album, which is way, way, way better than trying to get streams. We'll even do some math really quick. Let's just say someone spends $10 on an album, okay? I'm going to just do something, some Googling. How many Spotify streams to make $10 USD? Well, let's do this. How many streams does it take to earn a dollar? Okay. So here it is right here. Perfect. So these are all the different um, streaming platforms. So let's just look at Spotify. Okay, great. So I think this is for $1. Online equals 10. One line equals 10 streams. Number of streams to earn a dollar is right here. Okay, so it takes 229 streams to earn $1. So 229 times 10 would be 2,290 streams. So when somebody buy, so if I run paid ads on, on, on Instagram to get DMS and then those people DM me and they buy an album just for 10 bucks, that person is worth 2,290 Spotify streams. Where do you want to run your paid ads? Where do you want to run your paid ads? I mean, that's right. Isn't it kind of silly? So at that point, once they've bought something, you've got their name, email, phone number, address. You can put them to your email list and you can continue to nurture those people through email as well. And then what we do is ascend those people through email, text, call, and you can even put them on a membership platform. You can create a Discord community and, or a free Facebook group that, that, that everyone who bought your album, you say, hey, you know what? You're part of my album. I'm gonna, you bought my album. Thanks for being a part of the community. I'm going to put you in our free Discord. You can even start to build an online community of all the people who have bought your album. And you can start to create real community. People love community. So then after that, let's say someone's on your discord, they're on your email list and you have their email and you can DM them and all that. Once you drop a new album or a new song, guess what you can do? Post content on social media, send them an email, send them a text, and you could post on your membership platform. Hey, I've got my new album coming out or I've got my new song or Hey guys, I just dropped a new piece of merch. And now as you start to ascend people, it costs you $0 because you're posting it organically on email, content, um, text, and your membership platform. And then that, what's really cool about that is you can take that money and reinvest it back into ads. And those people who become fans are going to be like, hey, you should check out this new artist. And then they bring other fans as well. So that's how the music social funnel works. It really does start at the top, which it's so funny because this part right here, the attract is the big question mark. But it's the easiest part. By far, attracting fans is so easy. If you just run DM ads, you can get people to actually become fans. Now, obviously, if you've never heard of paid ads or you've never run paid ads or you don't even know how to do DM ads, I can understand why that would be difficult and why it's tough. And the other part of this too is if you're even having trouble releasing music on a consistent basis, that's a problem. And so if that's the situation for you, then here's what I can do for you. I can actually help you, number one, become your own music producer in the next 90 days. And number two, start to implement this music social funnel into your music career. So let me show you exactly how we're able to do that. So what I do is I run an academy called Rapid Fire Music Academy. So we only talked about phase four, which is the music social funnel. But if you're in a situation where you're buying beats on the internet or you're relying on other people um, to mix and master for you and you want to actually fully produce your own music, that's where I can actually help take you all the way from phase one, which is gearing up, getting everything you need, phase two, which is producing instrumentals, phase three, which is mixing, mastering, then phase four, music social funnel. So here's how it works. Really simple. You're going to get three things guaranteed in 90 days. One, you're going to have at least one song fully produced by you that you're excited to release. Number two, you're going to have all the tools, skills, and resources to never have to buy beats or hire anybody to mix and master for you. And number three, you're going to have a music social funnel fully installed into your career where you're going to have inbound fans, five to 10 inbound fans per day messaging you wanting to hear your songs. If all three of those are not fulfilled in 90 days, I continue working with you for free. So if that sounds interesting to you, then what I'd love to do is invite you to come book a call with either me or my 
the team to discuss working with us. Or if you need to, you can just check out the main video pinned to my channel where I discuss the entire process and how it works if you need more information. All right. Thanks so much for watching this video. Hope it's been helpful. Hope it's been insightful. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.